Hi friend, welcome back to my channel. So, um, I am making this video because I feel like people only think that tech is coding or tech is just being a software developer, but there's plenty of things and jobs and paths in tech that I feel like should be highlighted just in case you don't know if software development is right for you because it's definitely not for everyone which I really try and stress to people, it's not for everybody. But yeah, all of these jobs are in tech and um, they pay really well. So this is definitely something that I would research a lot when I was in college before I decided exactly what I wanted to do. And I wanted to give that resource to you today. Oh, it's hot. But if you're new here, it's hot in my room. That's my name is Ben Dandur. I am a full stack software engineer in Los Angeles, California. Um, current reigning, Miss Washington US 2020, I compete in pageants and I don't have my life together, but it just looks like I do. <laughs> so um, this channel is all about getting my life together and giving you resources that I wish I had when I was in school. So if that interests you, keep watching. But the first job is product manager. So product managers are responsible for delivering an operating plan that can help achieve strategic and tactical goals and objectives, building a product portfolio, managing and implementing marketing activities and contributing to the product strategy and its vision. You need to understand the concepts of the product management lifestyle and methodologies. They need to have stellar time management skills because you're gonna be the main focal point. Everyone is going to be coming to you. All the depart departments are going to be coming to you for answers and you need to have them. So time management and stress management as well. You need to understand tools like Jira, Bitbucket, GitLab, Asana, Asana, and Pivotal Tracker. One of the next highest paying jobs in tech is AI engineer. An artificial intelligence architect develops, manages, and oversees AI initiatives within an organization. An AI engineer should have deep knowledge in mathematics and statistics. So languages that you want to know for being in AI are Python, R, and Tort. Do you see how versatile Python is? This is why I love that language. Tension flow, machine learning, deep learning, and neural networks. That was hard to remember. But that's a really interesting career field and it pays really well. So that's something that you want to look into. Um, if you are majoring in computer science, these, all the jobs that I'm listing are things that you can do with that major because again, like I mentioned, computer science is just an umbrella term. It doesn't mean software developer. And again, you can be self-taught in these things as well. From what I've seen, most boot camps are only geared towards software development, but all of these things can be self-taught. Next position is full stack developer. Gang, gang. A full stack developer works on the front end and back end of an application, ensuring the application created is responsive and keeps to the required standards, making sure that created code has integrity intact and implementing data security. So technologies that you wanna check out for full stack development because remember, it's two jobs in one. That's what people, like that's what I want people to take away from my channel. A full stack developer is two jobs. It is a front end developer and a back end developer and a bunch of other stuff, but it's combining two jobs in one, your full stack. So things that you want to know are back end languages like Python, Java, front end languages or frameworks like Vue, React, um, JavaScript, that's a language, jQuery, Node, MongoDB, SQL, you definitely want to understand databases. Another thing that I really try and stress to people who are trying to get into software development, you need to understand databases. I don't feel like that's taught enough in schools and it's something that you have to do when you're in, um, ow, when you're in your job. Obviously, uh, full stack developers aren't like completely you know, into database management, that's a, a whole separate job, but you will be manipulating databases. And I've seen people train for um, a position as a full stack developer or just back end or front end. And once they get to the interview or once they get on the job, they're blindsided with having to know how to manipulate databases because they just never have that on their radar. So 
Don't be that person. Next highest paid position is a cloud architect. So a cloud architect typically is responsible for developing cloud architecture, developing a cloud strategy and coordinating the implementation and deployment of it and ensuring application architecture and deployments, deployments in the cloud environment are done properly. So of course you want to have a thorough understanding of cloud application architecture Knowledge of Amazon Web Service, which is AWS, Azure or Google Cloud Platform. I'm having a hard time talking. It's hot and I'm dehydrated. And of course, with every job on this list, you want to have good communication skills. Remember, not talking to people in tech is a myth. So the next position that we're going to talk about is the DevOps engineer. They are a part of the dev team and might be responsible for designing and maintaining a deployment infrastructure, integrating cloud services so that processes can be automated. And I remember um, when I was in my back end student back end developer job when I was in college, one of my mentors would describe all of this um, in terms of a race car. So if you think of a race car, the seats, where the seats are, where the steering wheel is, that is front-end development. Where the engine goes, um, how the brake works, that's back-end development. And then the racetrack is DevOps. So you will need to know some level of coding and scripting for DevOps. Understanding deployment and network operations and tools like Git and the terminal command line, of course, and Jenkins. Most people tend to get afraid of this um, field because of the use of command line, Linux, uh, Unix. But it's not as scary as it looks, I promise you guys. You can learn the basics of all of that faster than you think. Once you get the basics, it's not that scary. Next is blockchain engineer. So a blockchain engineer specializes in developing and implementing architecture and solutions using blockchain technology. The worldwide spending on blockchain solutions is expected to reach 15.9 billion by 2023, meaning there will be plenty of demand for blockchain experts across industries and geographies. So Ripple, R3, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. I hope I said Ethereum right. Is that how you say that? I don't know. But those are technologies that you do need to understand. Census methodologies, uh, crypto stacks, security, all of those things are really important when it comes to blockchain. So consensus methodologies, security protocol stacks, crypto libraries and functions are really important for blockchain engineers to understand. So those are things that you should consider looking up if you were considering a career in blockchain engineering. Next is big data engineer. So a big data architect plans, designs, and manages the entire life cycle of large scale developments and deployments of big data applications. So understanding um, Hadoop, NoSQL, Spark, and data warehousing technologies are essential. Programming skills, data visualization skills, and of course, excellent communication skills. I don't know how many times we're gonna say that on this video, but it's very important. And the last highest paid job in tech that I'm going to talk about today is data scientists. I feel like this is becoming like a hot new one right now. It's like becoming, you know, one of the things first it was back-end developer then it was front-end developer then it was full stack developer and i think now it's becoming like data science which is really interesting to see but i'm just really happy that people are becoming really interested in being in tech and seeing that tech is the future so that's really fun to to see that evolution <laughs> So a data scientist analyzes and interprets complex data to help organizations make better and more timely decisions. So you need to understand machine learning algorithms. You will be doing data models. So you need to be very comfortable with numbers and math. You'll probably be using coding languages like Python, R and SAS, other analytical tools. And you're gonna be identifying business issues and providing appropriate solutions for those issues. And that's it. Those are some of the highest paying jobs in tech. Well, at least just a small overview for you to do your own research into. I'm just trying to give you a small snippet of each of these positions so that whichever interests you, you can do your own research into, but I do hope that it helps. Whichever one of these jobs that you go into, you are probably going to know, need to know at least some basic programming skills. 
Um, at least it will help a lot. Basic programming and database manipulation. I'll also leave some links below in the description box to um, articles that I referenced and some more information on each of these jobs. I hope you have a good rest of your night, friend. Uh, it's late. It is almost 11 o'clock p.m. I need to watch the new episode of Jujutsu Kaisen. Take care of yourself, take care of your mental health, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.